What's up guys? So Toy Story 4 is out. The movie has been released. I hope a lot of you went to see it uh, because I think it's great. I think it's amazing. If you uh, want my in-depth thoughts on the movie, you could kind of check out my non-spoiler review. But if you did see the film, we're going to get in-depth. Um, this is a spoiler talk video. Talking about things in the movie that I liked and things that I couldn't mention in my non-spoiler review because they were spoilery. Uh, so there's your warning. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you haven't seen the movie, I wouldn't recommend you watch this, but if you don't care about spoilers, feel free to watch the video. Um, so, you know, one of the main things that I took away from this movie that I loved was Gabby Gabby. Couldn't really talk about her in my non-spoiler review because in the trailers she was marketed as this villain. Uh, the, the villain of the movie, and I wouldn't really even necessarily call her the villain. I would just sort of call her the antagonist, because halfway through the film, I mean, she honestly, throughout the whole movie, I watched it again, I've seen it two times now, and honestly, she's not even really villainous throughout the thing. I think the dummies are really the villains of the movie, the tranquil tranquilist. Tranquilist? I can't pronounce that word. Those dummies, though. The ventriloquist dummies. Um, they are like the villain aspect of the movie. Even more so than Gabby Gabby. You know, they are her henchmen, I suppose you could say. But they're just creepy looking. Uh, Gabby Gabby's main goal is to be loved. She has never been loved in her life. And she wants that and her voice box is broken and she can't be played with because no one's going to notice her you know the the girl the young girl named Harmony that keeps coming into the antique shop that her grandmother runs uh you know she wants to play with Harmony she wants that to be her owner in in certain ways you know she wants one of those moments that Woody's had with Andy um so I thought that that was a great aspect of the story and really surprising. I didn't know where were they, what they were going to do with her character, but it totally worked for me, and I think it landed. You know, when Harmony has Gabby Gabby and she realizes, or she says, you know, I don't want to play with this old doll. Gabby Gabby's totally distraught. And when Woody comes back, he, she just goes, you could have your voice box back, you know, my time is done. And she was just totally defeated in that moment. And it was great for Woody's character and Bo Peep to come back to the antique shop to say, you know what, you're coming with us because your time's not over. And we can still help you. And they do. And I love that there was the lost kid at the carnival. Gabby Gabby sees the kid, you know, oh, is the kid lost as well? You know, like, the kid looks lost, you know, and maybe I could go and help her, you know, and we could be you know, start start a relationship in many ways, you know, and I, I really, really dug everything they did with Gabby Gabby in this movie, and with Woody as well, with Forky, and the relationship between Woody and Forky, that, you know, Bonnie makes Forky, and now Forky wants to go into the trash constantly, and Woody's not letting it happen. He wants Forky to be there for Bonnie, because he feels that's all he has left to do, you know, is to make Bonnie happy. He's not able to do it, but that's the kid he's with. You know what I mean? And the only thing that he has left in his life to is to make a child happy. And that's what he wants to do. And he, 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 he does that for the most part. I mean, he, he continues to bring Forky to Bonnie. When Forky jumps out of the van, he goes to get her. Everything with Bo Peep. You know, when that co aspect comes into the movie. And the opening of the film. Speaking of Bo Peep, the opening to this movie is I mean, the whole film is animated beautifully, but to just showcase how good the animation has come, right from the opening scene of the film with the rain and the RC car with the flashlight shining on it, it looks like, oh my god, it looks so good. And these people are very talented uh, at Pixar animation for creating such a beautifully animated movie like the animation from Pixar is just getting better and better and better and better and this might be the best it's ever been it is the best it's ever been the animation of this movie is off the charts um, but Forky I, I loved the Forky character I loved the Ducky and Bunny character wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about them going into the film 
but I actually ended up loving them. You know, they want to get picked. They want to win. They, they want to be won. You know, at this uh, Carnival Ride, Buzz Lightyear kind of gets them out of that. And, you know, they say, Buzz pretty much says, you know, we got a toy. Bo Bonnie's our toy. What he says, Bonnie's our toy. We'll get you to a, we'll get you to a, a kid. You know, and then they're excited about that. But one thing leads to another, and they realize that their sort of purpose is to help other toys get owners. And I thought that was great. Do Kaboom. I didn't even mention Do Kaboom in my non spoiler review. I totally forgot to mention him. Keanu Reeves, I Canada. You know, yes, we Canada. I love that. I thought it was hilarious. And this is the funniest Toy Story movie, I do believe. There's that line that Ham has in the beginning of the film when uh, Dolly, I believe the character's name is Dolly, goes, Okay, everybody stop. Bonnie always forgets something. She's going to come back. And Ham, you know, he's going for the coin. And he says, But it's money. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, everything going on with Buzz in the film, where he has to keep listening to his inner voice, pressing the, pressing the button on his chest. At first, that didn't work for me, but watching the movie again and realizing that, as I said in my non-spoiler review in Toy Story 3, when he kind of gets back from his Spanish mode, when the television falls on him, and he comes back and, he, and his head shakes and it's wah, 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 or whatever the noise that makes and he comes back from his Spanish mode, I feel like after that, he's got a screw loose. And, uh, you know, he's not goofy the whole entire film. It's just, you know, he takes that literally with the inner voice thing. And uh, it worked. And after seeing the movie again and having, thinking about that and realizing that what he's been through in his past totally worked for me. Um, the end of the film I thought was terrific how Woody decides to stay with Bo Peep. There's that great scene in the beginning when Bo's in the box, Woody's outside the box, and, you know, Woody's saying goodbye to Bo, and this is pretty much the same scenario where Bo's saying goodbye to Woody, and it's very similar how he holds the, the, the side of the, of the thing, and he's looking at Bo, and he says goodbye, Bo, and he goes, and Woody's Buzz Lightyear, he, he realizes that, you know, Woody's place is, is, is to stay with her. Because that is where he's going to be happiest in his life right now. And I loved how the, the story continues to progress and his character continues to progress. And how all the toys hug him and Bullseye is kissing him. Oh my god, it'll, it'll rip your heart out. Totally it'll rip your, your heart out. And how the, the film ends with the music. I, I love Randy Newman's decision to end the film with the music from Toy Story 3 to where they get out of the incinerator. After it says you know, the claw, you know, the music in that scene is the music that ends this film. And I think it worked, totally. I wasn't expecting that, but I dug it. And, you know, w what's more to say spoiler spoilery about Toy Story 4? I'm sure there are other things, but overall I love this movie. I think this is a fantastic movie and I don't have any gripes with it. And I do give it 5 out of 5 after seeing it again. I think it's incredible. I, I love it. All these toys, the Toy Story series might be the best movie series in film history. Think about it. For me, anyway, I've given every one of them five out of five. They are handled so well, and they're taken such you know with, with such care. You know, I, I totally love this series. And if they do a Toy Story five, what would be some ideas for Toy Story five? Who knows? I actually just thought about that right now. I might do a the side video where I give you guys my thoughts and if they do a Toy Story 5 where it should go. I think that could be pretty fun because I do have some ideas but I think I'm gonna save that. But guys comment your thoughts. Did you see Toy Story 4? It's been out for a couple days now so give me your thoughts on the film. Did you still not see it? Are you planning on seeing it? I hope that uh, I hope you saw it because you just you know listen to me spoil the hell out of it so uh, hopefully I didn't do that. Uh, so if you've seen the movie, comment your thoughts. Also subscribe to this channel for a whole bunch of reviews up in this channel now. My reviews for all the Toy Story movies and a bunch of reviews coming in the future for Annabelle Comes Home, Yesterday, Spider-Man Far From Home. Very, very excited about those. Guys, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video. And you can also follow me on Instagram at KingOfRises131. Guys, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching my spoiler review for Toy Story 4. Over and out.